Hello everyone and welcome to this technical analysis video for Thursday, July 30th. I'm Christina Barthenidou, investment analyst, taking a look at pound yen in the daily chart. So as you can see, we're close to break a symmetrical triangle and we have some reasons to believe that this could happen on the upside rather than the downside. Uh, first, the price found strong support at the lower line of the triangle and managed to hold above the upper surface of the Chimoku cloud, returning above the 50% Fibonacci of the downlet from 147.94 to 124. Uh, then if we look at the momentum indicators, uh, the RSI is making higher highs and higher lows above an ascending trend line and has yet to reach its 70 overbought mark. Uh, the stochastics are rebounding and are also below their 80 overbought mark, while if we look at the MACD, uh, the indicator is regaining strength. So in other words, uh, the short-term risk is tilted to the upside and uh, technically there is some room for improvement. Uh, but the pair should first break above the triangle and the 200-day uh, moving average to extend the rally towards the 61.8% Fibonacci of 138.80. Above that, uh, 140.85 uh, has been uh, tested as support in the past and could act as resistance now to restrict the price from uh, reaching uh, the restrictive zone around 143.30. Uh, February's high of 144.95 could be the next target if positive sentiment uh, persists. Now, in the negative scenario where the pair dips below the, the triangle, breaching the 20 and 50 day moving averages to uh, the 38.2% Fibonacci of 133.15 could take control. Uh, if not, and the price closes below the previous low of 131.74, uh, we would lose confidence on the uptrend started from the 124 uh, bottom and look for support near the 23.6% Fibonacci of 129.65. Uh, lower the 128 level may also attempt to stop the sell-off. So that's all from me. Thank you for watching and have a great day.